guys, I'm Brandon Tech Tips, so today I'm going to be explaining to you, um, all the stuff, like, okay, I've heard so many things about this argument specifically, and it is such a ridiculous, crazy argument. What is better, Apple or Android? Every single tech enthusiast out there knows that this argument is absolutely ridiculous. You should know that it's ridiculous. Okay, let's just get to a clear answer. So if you don't care about my rant later, here's my answer. It's a matter of opinion, and that is that. Matter of opinion. The thing is, Apple and Android are just so different that it's all up to you. Apple is more of a, you know, they make their own stuff, they make their own operating system, and it's much simpler than Android. And what I've always thought is that Android is more of, like, I'm not saying that you need to be a super techie person, but, like, it seems that techie people do seem to like Android more. And that's not true for everyone, but I've noticed that that is a little bit of a trend. But, you know, I know a couple people that are techie people and love Apple. Like, Apple iPhone and they have Macs and you know that's totally up to them I'm not an Apple person I am a Windows guy I'm an Android guy you know those are the operating systems and products I like to buy um, and you know I actually am starting a PC build right now and I think I, it's gonna turn out great feature video coming out on that by the way anyway back to the video my dog is going nuts right now. He's staring me down. Look at him over there. Nuts, man. He's staring me down. Anyway, so, Android. Android is an operating system, obviously, that is used on many different phone brands. Samsung, LG, Motorola, you know, that's just to name a few of them. There is so many freaking Android phones out there. It's ridiculous. And the thing is, people are like, oh, Android or Apple. But you're comparing an operating system to a phone company. Like, that doesn't make an awful lot of sense. Because Android is used on, obviously, Samsung, LGs. And the operating system on the Samsung and LG may have the same base. But it doesn't have the same operating system. It's not the same thing. Now, yes, it does technically, yes, both use Android. But... The Android skin, the user experience is so much different among the two, and it's just not a fair comparison, because it's just so vastly different. And so that's the huge point that needs to be made about Android. Android is used on so many different types of phones that it doesn't make sense to say Android is bad, Apple is better, and Android is so different that it's not really, it doesn't make any sense to compare them. It makes more sense to compare the Pixel between the iPhone to and two things. Android is, you know, made by Google. Google Pixel uses the raw, you know, unedited version of Android, the full thing, without any sort of differences. So. The operating system inside the Pixel, basically, is what they give to the developers of Samsung, LG, Motorola, all those companies, and then they will take the operating system, put their skins on it, put their whole user experience on it, and ship their phones out. And now it's not exactly that simple. They have to get a team together, all that stuff. That's not what I'm going to get into. But with Apple, it's very different. Apple will make their operating system. They'll put it in their phones. But uh, Apple doesn't sell their operating system to be, like, changed. They, they just put in their operating system. As with Google, they have an open source operating system that can be changed. So the comparison between Android and Apple can be different because there's so many different types of Android phones. With also different CPUs, different graphics, different screen types, you know, OLED, AMOLED, all those, LCD um like two cameras five cameras like six sixteen i don't know how many cameras can you throw on a phone 
sure there's a phone out there with 16 cameras. I would guarantee you that someone's made it with Android. But the thing is, like iOS is no doubt an amazing operating system. And I'm, and I'm sure if a tech enthusiast out there could get their hands on it and put it into different phones with more power, you know, with all that creativity, that would sell really well. But the thing is, Apple wants their operating system to be their operating system. That's why Apple's put into place so many like security things so that no one tries to take their operating system, no one tries to take their creations. And I'm sure if you tried, you'd get a buttload of lawsuits from Apple. I'm, I'm not certain on that, but I'm sure something would go down. Um, anyway, back to the topic. The thing is, with Android, you can have so much diversity. If you wanted to, say, an Android phone, you don't like Android. Okay, find another third-party, you know, whatever operating system, you know, throw it on there, go to the boot menu, bam. You got a full new operating system to explore, and you can do that. If you try to do that with an iPhone, you try to boot it up, you'd be hitting the power button, and nothing. And you'd probably get a voided warranty. Yeah, no bueno, that's not going to happen. So, that's the thing. Apple is so locked down. And that is why I personally choose Android. I can do whatever I want. I can make my Android look and have the same user experience as an iPhone if I wanted to. That's how diverse it is. No, I can't take it straight from Android and just install a version a version of iOS. That isn't possible. It's not. And that's why there's launchers and there's you know, there's apps you can get that can give you, you know, 3D moving backgrounds. There's so much stuff that Apple just doesn't offer. Now, there are some clear benefits of having an iPhone, though. One main benefit that I've always loved about iPhones is more secure and more, you know, together apps. And I blame this personally on app developers. Now, because Apple has such strict rules, you have to make a well-put-together app to be on their app store. They don't accept these crappy apps that you can find, and sometimes shady apps that you can find on the Play Store. Here is one main thing that I want to point out regarding Snapchat. Snapchat on an iPhone is, in my opinion, has had a better like more put together feel than what I've had experienced um, what, I've, what I have experienced on my Android and I blame that solely both on the app developer and on Google Google should put in more rules like Apple did because apps can be so shady and if you want to install shady apps go on the Google go on, the, go, go on Chrome install whatever shady app you want but don't put shady apps and allow them on the Play Store. That's one main thing that I'd love to see changed on Android. And there are plenty of things that could be better about Android, but I'm sure that there's also plenty of things that could be better on iOS. And that's why jailbreaking exists. That's why all these things to get around it exist. Because whether we like it or not, neither Android or iOS is perfect for every single human that ever wants to use a phone. Everyone is different and everyone has different needs and I'm just going to conclude it at that. It's a matter of opinion of opinion and it is a matter of what you need and what phone suits you and what's in your budget. Now, if you're in a tight, you know, bad situation right now, you're low on cash, go buy the iPhone SE. It is one of the best best budget phones out there on the market and I am hands down blown away about how much performance you get for your money and I would say go do it like if you're looking for an iPhone get it now get the SE 400 bucks for a phone amazing I wouldn't I would do that if I broke my phone and needed to pay for a phone I'd get the SE and probably get an Android later because I get sick of it so that's what I'm going to that's what I'm going to conclude it at. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. PC build video coming up. If you want to stick around for this portion of the video, you can click off if you want. But I'm going to be explaining some of my PC things right now. So, my PC right now, I'm making it, I'm going to make a video about it. I'm actually in the editing stage. But, um, so, my PC build is starting. I'm making a PC, and with genuinely crappy hardware. Um, so, it's going to be fun, but I'm going to be upgrading my crappy hardware. And I'm going to be getting it to, you know, 60 FPS on hard AAA games that are just going to be amazing. I'm so excited to get started. So far, my hardware is an old Phenom AMD CPU, a um, MSI um, NVIDIA GeForce 1030. So the MSI version of it is better than the stock NVIDIA one you know, without all the um, other stuff on it, it's just slightly better with a better boost clock. And so, obviously better performance. So that's my first performance E part. Not really special, but we are ordering case. I got a new power supply installed, 500 watt one, you know, for right now, because they're cheaper. And I got a CPU cooler because that old Phenom uh, CPU isn't uh, doing too hot right now. I guess it is doing really hot because it is always super hot. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, PC build is coming. And I'm actually filming on my DB Power N6 in 4K. And that is one thing that I'm really excited about. I can film in 4K edit in 4K and bam I have a full 4K at video ready to go and I'm really excited to get started with that because 4K video whether like some people admit it or not it, it just looks better most people do admit it but some people don't really care uh, some people can't even run 4K I understand that don't really care I'm going to make videos in 4K from now on at least 1440p um, unless something happens with my computer then that's when I'm going to be uploading it. Anyways, guys, see you in the next video, and I hope that you stick around for my new PC build. And I do have a whole thing for this camera, so I actually can um, hook it up to my chest so that I can like build and have you pretty sturdy with a good view while I, both my hands are open. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. You guys are going to see you in a future video. Alright, peace out.